a vaping epidemic nationwide. Police here in Houston are cracking down on products being sold to minors. In Texas, you must be 21 years old to purchase any type of tobacco, including vaping. KDISD police uh, was one of several agencies that just conducted an undercover operation. Channel 2 anchor Christine Noel joins us with the details on that. Christine. Keith and Lauren, yeah, uh, um, the target of the undercover sting was the still smoke and smoke shop in Katy. Recently, an anonymous tip came in from a Katy ISD student through the district's Speak Up app, saying that students have been able to buy vaping and other tobacco products from that shop with no problems. So law enforcement made a plan and then this week executed it. Public school vaping has really gotten out of hand. And so that's the reason we decided we were going to take a proactive approach. That proactive approach came in the form of an undercover sting operation at the still smoking smoke shop in Katy. After the Katy ISD Police Department caught wind that the shop was selling tobacco and THC products to underage students and other minors. I don't know how long it's been going on. According to some students, it's been going on for quite a while. But not anymore. On Tuesday, the Katy ISD Police Department, along with the Harris County Multi-Agency Task Force, conducted a joint operation at the smoke shop off Provincial Boulevard. While conducting surveillance, law enforcement made their move. So we sent someone into the smoke shop and they indeed bought vaping device and they were underage. The minor was able to buy two packs of jewels. During the same sting operation, investigators also witnessed other minors unrelated to the sting, leaving the still smoking shop with tobacco products in hand, a sight Chief Robert Jinks no longer wants to see, which is why he's sending a strong message to other smoke shops selling to minors. If we find out they're selling to our students or to any underage people, we're, we're going to come after them. The state comptroller issued several citations at the smoke shop and will be conducting a follow-up investigation. The kids who were caught buying vaping products had to forfeit the products, were given a verbal warning, and then were free to go. Lauren. All right, Christine, thank you.